Hello, and welcome to module 12 of setting up a journal in OJS 3.3. This is unit 2, roles. User roles govern who can access what in the editorial workflow. OJS 3.3 provides a flexible user role system that allows you to tailor these roles to your journal's needs. To access roles, log into your dashboard through the top right corner of your journal's homepage. Now, let's go into the Users and Roles settings. Roles is a second tab. OJS is preloaded with 17 different roles and they are listed in this table. This table lists the roles by name, shows their permission level, and then indicates the different stage assignments that can be activated for the role. This means that users with, for example, the role of journal editor are able to assign tasks from all stages of production to appropriate users, but the production editor is only able to assign copy editing or production tasks to the appropriate users. They are unable to assign tasks related to submissions and review. To change these roles, we can tick or untick the boxes related to the responsibility we want to change. By clicking on the expansion arrow beside the role name, we can see the Edit and Remove buttons. To edit a role, let's click on the link. For existing roles, the permission level will be grayed out and cannot be changed, but you're able to edit the role name as well as the abbreviation for the name. Then, you have another opportunity to adjust the stage assignment powers of this role. Finally, you can indicate whether you want this role's title to appear in the contributors list and whether you'd like to allow users to self-register for this role, as they can do with readers and authors. Other role options include setting up if the role is allowed to recommend a review decision and limiting the access to the metadata edit. When we have completed our edits, we can click on Save. In addition to editing existing roles, you are also able to create new roles by clicking on the Create New Role button in the top right corner of the box. When creating a role, you're able to select the ideal permission level. As we saw while editing the roles, the permission level becomes locked after the role is created. Following, we see the same fields we covered while editing roles. Once you've completed the form, let's click on OK at the bottom. For more information about what permissions are associated with each role, click on the Help button at the top right corner of the page. A brief list of the different permission levels can be found here. In OJS 3.3, you can also notify all users in one role. To do this, we can go to the Notify tab on our Users and Role Settings page. The first section of this page shows us all the roles available in our journal. We have to select the users who we want to communicate with. After that, we can set a subject line and the body of our email. In the last part of this form, you can also choose to send a copy to yourself. When we're happy with the changes, we can click on Save. The confirmation pop-up window indicates how many users will receive this email. If we agree, we can click on Send Email. The next page indicates that the email was successfully sent, and we can send another email. And this concludes Unit 2 of the Users and Roles settings. Thanks for watching! I'll see you again in the next unit.